Hi, I'm Michaela from Questacon, the National Science and Technology Centre in Canberra. Since the start of human history, the stars have intrigued us. They've sparked myths and legends and inspired hopes of interplanetary voyages. We asked experts in the space industry, what is it about space that really captures the imagination? What's the fascination about space? I think that question should be more like, what is not fascinating about space, <laughs> right? It's where everything comes from. It's where we came from. It's where life um, comes from. It's, you know, um, the elements that go through nuclear synthesis in the cores of stars generated the elements that build up us today and build up our world. So my question is, what isn't fascinating about space? Everyone on the planet can look up into the sky and dream about space. Every human, hundreds of thousands of years ago, has looked up and thought about what was going on up there. The stories of the Australian uh, indigenous people are the same stories told by the indigenous people of Europe, the Seven Sisters. It is a story that unifies humanity. And, you know, no one owns it. It's everyone's to share. And so I think it's just incredibly accessible there. Everyone can dream of it. First of all, the unknown. The fact that we are essentially thinking of a dimension beyond the, uh, the surface of the Earth. We r imagine ourselves flying through space, and that's more than imagination now with astronauts who are traveling to the moon and beyond. But I think the real heart of why we are so fascinated with this, and particularly for we astronomers, science is opening up all kinds of answers to some of the most profound questions we can ask. Uh, where did we come from? How did we get to be like we are? How did the universe get to be like it is? The big questions that we all think about from time to time. People see space, science and astronomy as opening up doorways to our understanding of that. The scale, uh, it's, it's so massive. It's so insanely huge. Uh, the words fail me to describe how big it is, how old it is, how slow moving and grand the motion of the stars are, and yet how extraordinarily violent the collisions can be. The extremes of space from absolute zero or close to absolute zero temperature to um, in, essentially temperatures that, that break down our concepts of, of, of heat itself. Um, we can go to the expansion of the universe, we can talk about the Big Bang or the black holes, the extremes of density found in the cores of neutron stars, to the, the fluffy puffed out uh, uh, enormous red giant stars that um, uh, it's, it's hard to even figure out where their edge are, they're so tenuous. These kind of objects, they're all how could you not be fascinated by them? How could that not challenge your imagination um, to picture them? So maybe that's why, why we love space, uh, because it's also a stunning reminder that we're not on, you know, a, a particularly big world, a special world. Um, these kind of things matter that we look after it, and, and space reminds us of that and I think works our imaginations all the harder and that's a good thing. I think the fascination with space is that we all come from space, right? We're all made of stardust and we want to know more about where we're going and where we've come from. Um, when I was in primary school, we learned about Starship Earth. So we are on a planet that is a spaceship and we're hurtling through space and we want to know about what we're hurtling through and what we're made of. So what do you think? There's still so many things about Mars and the universe that we're yet to discover. We live in an amazing time of space exploration and I can't wait to see where our curiosity and persistence takes us.